Dog Works Radio is sponsored by Alaska Dog Works. Check out their website at alaskadogworks.com. You are listening to The Daily Dog with your host, Michelle Forto. The Daily Dog offers training advice, tips and tricks, and maybe even a book or movie review, too. Hello and welcome to Dog Works Radio. This is Michelle and I am the lead trainer of Alaska Dog Works. Have you visited our website lately? We have been working hard to bring you the most up-to-date interactive dog training website out there. I know you've been listening to the show over the past few weeks and heard me mention our Adventure Dog Club. Go check it out as well. People are saying it's a great adventure opportunity for them and their canine buddy. On today's show, we're going to talk about how dog training can help save your marriage. Did you know that we get calls every day from potential clients who are interested in dog training, but before they complete the sign-up process, they always must talk to their significant other to gain permission to sign up for one of our courses. This is a great thing. It shows the communication process is alive and well in most relationships, but Did you know that trouble with the family dog can cause big problems in a relationship? In some ways, professional dog training is like family therapy. It's better to get help before you need it. Whether you've known your dog longer than you've known your spouse or significant other, or even if you've adopted a pup as a couple, Training your dog as a team can help strengthen your relationship with your human partner as well as with your pooch and prevent any it's me or the dog arguments. If it's a couple, both of the people should come to a training session, says trainer Char Mulligan of Waggles Academy for Dogs. It allows them to then speak the same language and it allows them to understand the dog a little bit more and that just takes a lot of pressure off everybody, she explains. According to Mulligan, training a dog as a family builds unity, strengthens responsibility and encourages patience and commitment. She says working through the rough spots and training together reinforces the bonds between everyone involved and I couldn't agree more. An experienced trainer, Mulligan has even felt the power of training teamwork in her own family. Five years ago, her husband Trevor fell in love with a fearful and highly reactive 18-month-old pup named Huxley. For the first time in their marriage, the dog trainer's spouse entered her professional world. Trevor really paid attention to his dog's needs. They exercised together and attended my training classes, Mulligan recalls. As Huxley's training progressed, the couple found they were often complimenting each other on his successes and the positivity spread beyond their training sessions. When you're in the groove of reinforcing your dog's good behavior and great choices, it seems this mindset spills over into other chapters of your life and day-to-day activities, says Mulligan adding that both Huxley and Trevor are less stressed since finding each other and the whole family is feeling more confident. Mulligan is not the first to notice the positive impact a dog can have on his or her humans. Research has shown couples with dogs enjoy greater well-being than those without canine companions, and the closer the humans are to their dog, the better off they are. The same research suggests people who have strong attachments to their dog and who confide in their dog in addition to their spouse report more satisfaction with marriage, life, and their health and experience stress relief. Another study suggests humans who don't engage in activities with their dog, like agility, dog shows, hunting, herding, or even training, have lower rates of emotional closeness. Training as a triad allows both humans to reap the health and emotional benefits of bonding with the dog while helping prevent destructive or disruptive canine behavior from negatively impacting the dog-human relationship or the human-to-human relationship. Working together helps prevent either half of a couple from growing resentful of the dog or 
their human partner by creating a shared experience. Let's say you're trying to stop excessive barking. You'll make a plan on how you're going to do this, step by step, and it's just really fun to share each other's progress, Mulligan explains. She says sometimes a dog will have a more favorable response to one partner's style of instruction over the other, and that's okay. The dog is just telling you what language he or she prefers. There's no need to place blame, but one partner may need to adopt the other person's style. It allows you to be consistent with your pet so that you get the same responses and you meet the same training goals. Depending on your dog and factors like their personality and previous life experiences, training may be challenging. At times, one or both humans may be tempted to quit, but the best outcomes happen when families stick with training, growing closer to each other and their dog. In the case of Huxley, Mulligan and her husband were dealing with the challenge of training a highly reactive pooch. But as the bond between the three of them deepened, Huxley became calm and confident, enough to join in on dog-friendly road trips and other fun family outings. It's an experience Mulligan is glad she shared with her spouse. This commitment and positive attitude that came along with raising a dog with fearful behaviors gave Trevor and I the strength, courage, and coping skills we needed, says Mulligan. Thanks for listening to today's show. I think it's time that you and your spouse have a little sit-down discussion about your Huxley. And then you go check out our website and social media pages. I hope to hear from you soon about how I can help you with your training needs. From Dog Works Radio, this is The Daily Dog. We hope you enjoyed this podcast, and we invite you to subscribe in Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, or wherever you get your podcasts. You'll find a link on the episode notes. You can tap or swipe on the episode cover art, and you'll see some offers from our sponsors. You can support our show by supporting them. If you like what you have heard, we would love it if you could give us a five-star rating and tell your friends how to subscribe, too. Your host is Michelle Forto. Our producer is Robert Forto. Created for Dog Works Radio. Did you know that Alaska Dog Works trains service dogs for those in need throughout North America? Each and every service dog that is trained through the Lead Dog Service Dog Program and Michelle Forto and her team has an individual training plan. We train for autistic, mobility, psychiatric, and PTSD for our soldiers for service work. If you know of someone that may need a service dog, please take a moment and check out Alaska Dog Works on social media and at alaskadogworks.com.